I'm here to talk about an anime that I just love because of my love for it, and that is Gunsmith Cats. This is an anime from the 1990s based on a manga by Kenichi Sonoda. It is the story of two women uh, in Chicago, in the United States, yes, that's right, sort of present day, and um, one is a bounty hunter and the other is sort of an, um, a, an assistant of hers. Let me see if I can show you a little bit of them. There we go. Um, Minnie Mae Hopkins and uh, Raleigh Vincent there. Um, and so it's basically a, an action movie uh, concept. So it's, you know, guns, thugs, bad guys, sort of light noir, if you will. Um, so you get kind of some of the tropes of, of detective fiction um, while having, you know, cute girls who are in their underwear occasionally. Uh, so that kind of a thing. Very anime in that way. And um, what I appreciate about it is it, it is a um, it's a story set in the United States that does that, that, that was very heavily researched. So nothing really looks out of place here. You don't see any weird Jap Japanese anachronisms in here. And like the staff went over to America before making the OVA to kind of check up on things and get a feel for how things actually are. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it's also just a, a fun, light action adventure kind of a story. Um, I mean, there's some, you know, the, the climax gets relatively dark in the sense of people shooting at each other, right? It's, it's not, uh, not goofy Trigun fun. Uh, in the sense of some of the, that combat, but uh, um, it's definitely not too, too serious. Now, I do have to point out that Kenichi Sonoda's original manga can get a little bit um, uh, uncomfortable at times. Some of the material that he delves into, uh, I know makes me uncomfortable now and again. Uh, the anime has none of that, so um, uh, it, it's uh, pretty appropriate to, um, I would say, you know, older teens and up, or even younger teens. Again, you know, Rally and Minnie, Minnie May are occasionally, um, you know, walking around their apartment in their underwear, but nothing really beyond that, uh, at least in the OVA. Uh, and of course, you know, violence, people getting shot and such, but uh, nothing overt, nothing, nothing gruesome uh, in the OVA. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, uh, being an OVA, it's pretty short, you know, so you can get through it and experience all of it, and pretty high budget. It has some of the I would say some of the most impressive car chase sequences in in all of anime. Uh, they're not hugely long, but just the the quality and the detail of the animation is just stunning in some of that stuff. Um, so yeah, again, fun detective story with uh, two kick-ass girls. Gotta love it.